Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, the online version. This is the online game. You've heard me talk about it in the story mode playthrough we've been doing. This is it. They did it. They lured me back in. I didn't think I'd ever play online very much anymore because it was a mess. But there's a new naturalist role, which is amazing. So we're going to start that today. We're going to go over here to the fast travel and roll over to Strawberry. That's where you have to go to start this deal off. So let's head there now. All right, we are here at the entrance to Strawberry. This is the beginning of the town. And you have to go over here to the, I guess it's the inn or something. It's like the mayor's office, I guess, where the mayor lives or works or something. There really wasn't a whole lot to this in the story mode as far as this building goes. But I remember it being something like that. So this is where you start the natural. Madeline! Get down here! This has got to Madam, stop! Madam, please! No! Uh, I'll be right with you. I know you're up there! Oh, marvelous! There she is! Just what I need, the crazy wood nymph. Can't a man take a bath in peace? What the hell is that? It's a panther! Oh, you savage! And a nice clean one now, too. This is going above the mayor's bed. Okay, uh, Mrs. Hobbs will be by to handle the taxidermy. Oh, travel safe, my friend. Wait, who are you? Where's Cecil? Glenn. I'm a friend of his. Cecil had to take a few days off. Mm-hmm. For stress. Is there any uh, animal that you have not slaughtered? Oh, you flatter me, Miss Sorry, Davenport. I really will be right with the you. The answer's no, but I'm retired, as you know, and have been for some time. Yes, and how many have you out there killing for you now? Not nearly enough, I'm afraid. Business is booming. What about you there? You a hunter? Gus McMillan, master craftsman of fine clothing and accessories. Here's my card. I pay top dollar for animal furs and parts. The rarer, the Don't better. Don't listen to him. Unbelievable. How do you sleep at night? On the tiger bed spread, my dear. Seriously, come see You're me. You're no better than a murderer. And one day, you'll be seen as such. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Would you mind taking us outside? I don't want to Shut cover. up, Glenn. Listen, soon as a squirrel finds a cure for tuberculosis, let's oh, talk. If intelligence is the barometer oh, of who has geez. the right to live or die, you should have been court-martialed at birth. Annoying, isn't she? <laughs> see him? The only thing he had on his mind was hunger, sweetheart, but I pulled the trigger. Survival of the fittest, isn't that your mentor's trite catchphrase? It's not survival of the fittest. You are killing to line this your own pockets. This is how I make my living. We don't all have a rich daddy. While you're camped out in the woods, making witches' brews and talking to the wildlife, the rest of us are doing some real work. You think work. this is some big joke? Oh, oh, that, that's a no! You ah, ah, is that ah, crazy ah, shrew? Ah, ah, they ah, should ah. throw you in an asylum. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's it. I quit. You can tell the mayor I'm going home. She is going to be a handful. Don't you spray me. Oh, sorry about that awful man. Harriet Davenport. I've been in the field now for three years, studying the hidden interconnections between animals of all species. <laughs> I've seen everything. I've <laughs> had joy, disgust, regrets, envy. Hmm. We're so much more alike than we are different. I'm on the brink of discovering the pathways that link all life. I, I just need more research material. I have in here detailed notes on pretty much every animal from armadillo to anisberg, including the locations of some truly impressive varieties. I would be willing to sell this to you if you will commit to bringing me anatomical samples from live species and uh, promise not to carry out any more animal side in pursuit of Gus McMillan's greed. I'll pay you. I'll pay you, of course. I promise I'm good for the money. So here's Let's where we're going to purchase the not destroy it. roll, Come basically. On. It's 25 gold, anymore. just like every other roll has been. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, we've been brought together for a reason. I strongly feel that. All right, so now we have it. We are now going to be naturalists, to I guess. Remarkable new pathways of communication with other species. Ah, Not damn it! I knew she was going to spray me. Eat as they eat, hop as the toad. I don't like her already. Dig as the mole, love as the badger. What in the hell? 
What was in that bottle? She doped me up. Oh my goodness. I'm going. <laughs> I would so shoot her. What a pain. I wanted to say another word, but I didn't. What the hell? She took me out in the woods and left me? Oh, man. I am not going to like her. What a pain in the ass. Hey, where is my horse? Is he even close? Well, I'm now officially a naturalist. That's cool. I'm not too happy that she sprayed me with some drug and dumped me in the forest. That's kind of messed up. But I wonder if this is going to be like you either work for her or work for the dude. Because I'm working for the dude. Screw her, man. She's one of those, like, environmentalist type annoying ass people that are just going to be flattering off the gums constantly. Lecturing you about what you're doing wrong. Screw that. I'd rather work for the fat guy. He'll pay me cash just to kill things. There's my horse. Come here, baby. Calm down. This is a relatively new horse. I had a granddaughter, and when my granddaughter was born, I bought this horse and named it after her. Her name is Jasper. Most adorable little thing. And so I got this horse in her honor. All right, so here's the legendary animal map. This is awesome. We have legendary animals now in the online mode. I am stoked about that. It's one of my favorite parts of the storyline. I love doing the legendary hunts. All right, the animal field guide, and that's my normal catalog. Let's check this out. Farmland habitats. Oh, cool. So you have to discover all these animals and you probably have to study them and everything, just like in the story mode. This is awesome. Desert, wetland, mountain and grasslands, forests and rivers, common critters, legendary animals, dark. What is this? Whoa. Legendary animals, light. Awesome. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. All right, so I'm not... Yeah. The expert on this at all. I literally just bought it. You watch me do it. I know nothing about this. I have not watched any other videos on it or anything because I wanted to come in 100% fresh. I don't know when this is going to hit my channel, but this is the day that it dropped. The day of the update that I'm recording this. What is that, a snake? Let's see if we can find this snake and see what what this role is all about. What do I need to do? I imagine I'm going to have to study the, the animals. Because that's the way it was on single player. You'd study them and they get added to your book. So I'm thinking that's probably the same thing. He's going to get heading around this way. So I'm going to, as they say in the Old West, head him off at the pass up here. Alright, right here he is again. How am I going to focus on a snake to... This is going to be hard. The bigger animals won't be as hard, depending on what you have to do, but things like this, like the little snake, you can't even see the snake. It is so difficult to find and, and see snakes on this game. There he is. See him slithering over there to the right? Where are you going, horse? Turn around, baby. All right, I got to study it at least. So that says Animal Field Guide Updated. So we'll check that out here in a second. I want to make sure I get a little bit over here. So that that snake don't come up and spook my horse and end me up on my butt. Alright, let's look and try to find where that snake would be in, in all of this mess here. Mountain and grasslands, maybe. Okay, nope. Uh, forests and rivers? Nope. Not desert, I don't think, no. Farmland? No. 
That's a bunch of farm animals. That's cool. Well, that's desert. I was just there. That's a snake, but that's not the right one. Well, where the hell is it? Wetlands? Ah! Wetlands. Timber rattlesnake. Okay, so we got total progress. Tracked, killed, skunned, or skinned, studied, sedated, sampled, and photographed. Wild. So we got to do all that stuff for each animal? This is going to be a intensive thing. I don't understand why a timber rattler would be in the wetland. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, we are a little ways away from where we were originally. And I am trying to study this sheep, but it keeps running around. Now, I want to try to go ahead and shoot it too, but I got to get the right gun. Oh no, I don't want to throw dynamite at it. Damn it. Come on. Oh, I'm a moron. It's down here. I already had it equipped on the other on the other thing. All right, where did that sheep go? Did he bail? I bet he bailed. He probably went right off the cliff. Oh my god. Why would you jump off the cliff? Let's walk over here and see if we can't see him. Because I know I got to skin him, so that means I get to shoot him, right? That's not him. I thought that was him. That was a log. We'll walk over here to the edge and see if we can see this dude. Can you study birds? No. Okay. So birds are not included in your studies. Got it. Yeah, he, he is gone. I don't see him anywhere. We're going to look around with our binoculars. See if we can't spot him. But I don't think... I don't think he's around anymore. I think he bailed. See, a lot of times, once the animal gets off screen for a second or two, it'll despawn and it, it just disappears off the face of the world. Yeah, he's gone. I don't see him anywhere. Alright, we are riding along and I'm going to try to study the rabbit. Okay, so that works. Then I shot the dude, and I'm going to skin him. Now, you also have to take samples. I'm not exactly sure how all that works yet. Um, I don't have an option to do it when I when I shoot him. So, we're going to just kind of hunt and gather some skins and go find Gus. He's the one I want to work for. I don't really want to work for the chick. She's, she's a pain in the butt. Yeah, everything's getting updated like it's supposed to. There's another rabbit. Alright, we've just been kind of riding along and hunting and studying animals as we go. Here's a... Oh, that didn't work out. I think I ran him over. Did I kill him? Oh yeah, I killed him. My horse loves to trample things. It's not my fault. I was not trying to kill this one. I was trying to study it, but my horse just gets excited, and Jasper just loves to, to trample little animals. It's a horrible thing. I think that she's going to grow up to be a serial killer, because that is probably not normal behavior. Yeah. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Where'd he come from? Got a little raccoon. Study him. And I shoot him. Now I'm going to go see Gus here in a minute. And then after that I'm going to go see Harriet. And I'm going to figure this roll out. What all I have to do. I'm just kind of getting my legs back under me on this game. I haven't played the online mode in a long time. All right, let's look here at the map and try to figure out where we need to be. All 
I think Gus might be where the old trapper used to be. There above that train station. I'll scroll down here and check. But that's what it looked like on the map. It had a little uh, paw print. That's Harry. That's Gus. Yeah. Little paw print. There's one in New Hanover. And there was one up there by Strawberry as well. I'm closer to this one, I think. I'll go ahead and go to this one. So I'm going to roll over to Gus and I'll see you when I get there. Alright, that was quite a ride, actually. It wasn't as close as I thought it was. But we are here now. So we're going to go check Gus out and see what all he has to offer and how we can work for him. I got a bunch of skins because I've been hunting the whole way. So I'm hoping that I get experience points for the naturalist role by right, selling him friend, the skins. Come to the right that's place. the goal here, because if that works, that's going to be awesome. Okay then, let's take a look. I got money for the feathers, but no experience. Let's try the the pelts here. Perfect fox pelt, 225. And no experience. Uh, okay, I'll take it. I'm going to go ahead and sell all these pelts. I'd like to just take them to Crips for my trader role. I like that the best, but we're going to go ahead and sell them. And we're going to see if at the end yeah, of it, of when we these. get done here, if we actually get any experience or not. Sure, I'll be interested not? to see that. I'm hoping we do, because if we do, that means I can work for him. And... No, we got nothing. So I'm going to have to work for Harriet, I think. Let's see what all he has. That is cool. Moonstone coat and marble coat. Need a legendary marble fox and another legendary animal. That is really awesome. Okay, this stuff is made with perfect pelts. Or no, perfect carcasses. Whoa. That's different. In the story mode, you had to turn hunting. in perfect pelts for the trader to make clothing. Woods, Van and it seems like here, oh, be you again. have to turn in carcasses. Now, he has trinkets, which in the story mode, the fences had those. So we can make those with him, too. That's really cool. And they have pretty much the same abilities that the trinkets right had in the story mode. Like permanently increased players horse bonding by 10%, uh, better chance for perfect skins was the last one. Picking pretty much any herb gives you twice the amount of herbs when you have that trinket. And you can have all of the trinkets if it's like it was in story mode. Permanently decreases the speed at horse health and stamina core drains by 10%. You looking for something That's a in nice particular? one. Very cool, man. Very, very cool. So I'm gonna get all these trinkets. Because the stuff that you need, I have most of the jewelry stuff. Alright, what is this? Horned variant for weapons. Oh, for a bow. Cool. And we can get a saddlebag. Very cool. I, I like seeing this, man. I, I like that this stuff is coming. All right. I just we got, got arrows, rifle cartridge, varmint. So that's just regular animal, old varmint stuff, which we already have. And, and nitro Sounds express. Like perfect prize for us. Elephant Going rifle. After the biggins, huh? Wow. I highly approve. We might have to check that out at some point. I'm a little disappointed that I don't get to work for him, but Let this is know. pretty cool. All right, we are here to see Harriet now. We just saw Gus, so now we're going to see Harriet. I had to ride back across the map for this. That's Have why I cut. It was a murders. pretty long distance. I hope but you think about that. The next let's see what she has to say. For your meal. Please, take a look. Sedative varmint by 20. Rifle cartridges. That's pretty be cool. Be careful with these. They can be lethal if you Blending tonic reduces the range at which you can be detected by animals. 
That's kind of cool. So we'll be able to get closer. Uh, animal reviver. Revives a sedated animal. Five dollars a piece. 150 for all of them. Goodness you. gracious. Even animal prostrate. That is expensive. Legendary animal pheromones. The scent provokes a reaction from nearby legendary animals, revealing this their location. Reveal I'll buy one of those. Creatures. I'm not going to buy a bunch of those air, yet, because I don't even know how respond. hard they're going to be to Listen find. Sedative varmint cartridge pamphlet. Oh, yeah. I think that would be perfect Definitely for you. buy that. I'll be able to make my own sedative rounds. That's going to be that's going to be key. So I won't have to come back here every time I need them. Very cool. Was there All right, what else, else can we do or... here? Let's look at this first. I want to see what what I need. Read. Uh, 22 ammunition, crushed valerian root or prairie poppy. So I need to find valerian root or prairie poppy. The prairie poppy's out in the desert. I know where that is. I can find that all day long. Okay, so that's not going to be that bad. I can make that. The 22 ammunition is just the varmint rounds. So that'll work. Let's look at missions. What do we got here? Legendary elk. Legendary fox. Right time to speak to you about and that. I can't do either one of them, can I? I need rank 5 and I need rank 5. I see it says start poached animals there. That's probably some kind of missions you do in between. I'm going to leave that for now. Because I want to check out how to use these uh, sedative rounds for the varmint rifle. I want to mess with that first. But I'll do the mission before the end of the video. One or more. I don't know how it works. I don't know if there's a lot of them or just one of them or whatever. But I'm going to load these rounds in and we're going to go play with this a little bit. So I'm going to ride around and see what I can find and shoot something and put it to sleep. Where's something I can shoot with this? Can I shoot any animal or can I only shoot small animals, I wonder? That is a hell of a lot of racket. That is a big ass bear. You see that thing go running by? Can I shoot it with this? Oh, he's coming at me. You're dead. I didn't want to risk trying to sedate this dude because I don't even know if I can with a little 22 round. I don't know how that would work. And I did not want him to eat me, so I killed him. She was not happy. She just called me a murderer, so. I probably pissed her off. I hope she don't spray me again and leave me out in the woods naked or something. She's a damn weirdo. But we needed to skin one of these anyway for the field guide, so hopefully she won't be too pissed off because we're supposed to do it, I guess. Because it's on the list. All right, we're after a little skunk here. I'm going to try to shoot him with these rounds and put him out where'd he go is he out where's he at there he is why is he not going to sleep oh he is asleep he's rolling down the hill <laughs> don't go in the water don't go in the water where'd he go did he go in the water Oh, no, good. He stopped by this rock. All right, take sample. Let's try that. Get over here to it. See what that does. All right, so we take blood from it, I guess. That's kind of creepy. All right, so we got that, and we got some experience for it, I think. That's cool. I could have revived him, too, but I don't really care. I mean, then things are expensive as hell. I don't want to waste it on a damn skunk. I don't bite, you know. I leave All right, we're I back here with Harriet now. I know what you've been doing. And right, we're gonna try to sell some of these. I got a couple of them, so we're gonna try to see what happens. All right, let's see what. When you I have sell them, here's that skunk that rolled almost into the water. Seventy-five cents. That's all I got for that. One of our smaller. Ninety friends, cents for no the badger. Important. Is 
Impressive. And a jackrabbit got me a buck five. Got 50 experience points for the naturalist for selling them, though. Small, but and a little bit of gold. That's fast. pretty cool. I need gold because I got to buy the new outlaw pass. And I didn't finish the last one because the damn game was crapping out so bad that I just kind of said to hell with it and lost a bunch of gold on it. All right, so that was pretty cool. Oh, why don't you stop for a minute? All right, y'all are going to laugh, but... I was planning on doing the mission, and I completely forgot that I was planning on doing the mission, and I rode away and stopped recording, and then I realized that I said, told you I was going to do the mission, so I'm back, and now I'm going to do this mission, and we'll see what it is. So I think we're going to sell some of these. I got some more hunting done before I came back here. You know, mammal comes from rest. And then once I was getting ready to turn off the Xbox... I remembered that I had to do this mission, you were brave for so I sample. started recording again Thank and you. came over here. Did you know most reptiles are? So yeah, we're, we're making a little bit of experience off of it. That's good, but the money sucks. This is definitely not a money-making role. All right, let's fill up on these varmint rounds, the sedatives. Let's go ahead and buy more of those these can be lethal while we're here, because you got to shoot these things a hell of a lot of times. To knock them out, especially the bigger animals. I need to buy some more of these, too. I really don't want to spend all that money on those revivers, though. That is crazy I'll how much that? they cost. Alright, let's do this mission. Uh, I don't know enough is to it going to light up? Yet. There we go. Start poached animals. Let's do that. We're in a war here. Gus McMillan and his Philistine horde are one spear point in an army of invaders that want to rip this land up by its roots and plaster the ruins with cheap houses and totems of their barbary. That can't happen. A regiment of McMillan's horde have settled in the area and are claiming the local wildlife as their prize. I need you to strike back. I need you to remind Gus and his dead-eyed brutes what it feels like to be on the receiving end. Just be careful what gets caught in the crossfire. This war is already too costly. So we're doing missions against Gus. So these people we're getting ready to go and kill are working for him, I guess. That's kind of dirty. Alright, we're going to head over to this hideout and I'll be back when I get there. Because I don't know how far this thing's going to be. Alright, it was not too bad of a ride. It was a little bit of a ride. But it wasn't too bad. But we're here now, so... I'm going to try to... Sneak up on them, I guess. I'm going to use my semi-automatic pistols. I dig these things. They're like rapid fire. And we're going to try to sneak up here and, and kill one or two of them real quick. But I don't want them to know I'm coming until I shoot, so... There's not a lot of cover. There's some trees, but that's not going to offer a great deal of cover. So depending on how bad this is, I might have to make a run for better cover. But we'll see what happens. There's a lot of them, though. There's at least five or six that I can see. So here we go. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, goodness. They are lighting me up. Forgot how fast these semi auto Oh my god, look at all these red dots on my damn map. There are a lot of people here. Now I'm supposed to, to kill them and free some animal, I think she said. She said be careful that the, that the animal doesn't get hit in the crossfire. So we got to figure that out too, where the animal is, what kind of animal it is, all that kind of stuff. And we have to free it. I hope it's nothing that's going to kill me. That would suck if it's like a bear or a cougar or a panther or something. And I free it and it eats my face off. I'm going to be rather upset. She'll be pissed off if I kill it. have like a bulletproof vest. I've been like five rounds and he got back up. 
am I sneaking up behind? Where'd he go? He must have ran by me. That was pretty stupid. Yeah, I definitely like this little shed a lot better than I like that tree. I'm not getting anywhere near a shot up behind this building. That tree was, was just a no-go. I was getting lit up. I'm coming to the end of this. There's only like four people it looks like left. So I'm going to shoot this guy. And then I might, I might do something special for the last two. How many's left? Just two? Alright, let me let me switch to what do I have? Hatchet, no. Cleaver, hell yeah. It's cleaver time. Hell yeah. Leave it to cleaver. <laughs> That's my new thing. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill people with this. One. Now we can go around here and get this other dude. Where the hell's he at? Oh, I think he's in the cabin. Well, this ought to be interesting. Whoa, get off me! Take this! Oh. Alright, that's all of them. Now I have to free the animal. So we have to figure out where the animal is. There's a little white X right here beside the cabin. And there's a beautiful little cage. But first let's find out what the hell it is before I let it out. Because if it's something dangerous. Oh, it's a baby deer. It's a little fawn. Yeah, I'll let you go. Not much chance you're going to kill me. There you go. Run free, little one. That is so cool. That is very cool. I was worried that it was going to be some kind of crazy animal that was going to kill me. I don't understand why they're poaching a deer. I mean, they're everywhere. I can understand if it was a cougar or a panther or a grizzly bear or something like that. But I'm just going to walk around here and loop. So thank you all for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this new naturist role. I like it. I think it's kind of cool. I don't like that chick very much, though. But it is what it is. But I'll see you on the next one. Until I speak to you again. Love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye. That's not even a person. What was that?